Hey everybody, you join me today in a very different setting to normal. We're out on the water and behind me you see our latest addition to the marine fleet, the Lamborghini 63, a collaboration between Technomar and Lamborghini. This one is named Blue, B-L-U. It is painted in blue Cepheus, which is an OEM Lamborghini color. A lot of you have been requesting a walkthrough, a tour, some more info on the boat. So we're gonna hop on there and show you what it's all about. It's got some amazing features that cross over uh, from the Lamborghini cars to now this Lamborghini boat. It stands out like absolutely nothing else on the water. And one of its greatest talents that we're gonna show you shortly is how it can handle corners and take turns like an STO with the comfort of an Urus. So let's hop on board and go through all the cool features. Starting with the outside, painted in blue Cepheus and OEM color. On the front of the boat, you will see uh, headlights, very reminiscent of those from the Lamborghini Cian. Along the sides, fantastic shape, various uh, Italian flag components to it. Uh, and the yellow stripe that you see over the, the, uh, the canopy there is, uh, matches the interior uh, yellow striping and yellow stitching on the interior. Of course, made of all carbon fiber, that roof. Some uh, Italian flag highlights on the back there as well. And it's a really, really strong boat, which I cannot wait to show you uh, out there. So let's hop on and show you the interior features. So kicking things off here in the interior, uh, the first thing you notice is a complete kind of mood change. Nice and airy and sporty outside, very moody and dramatic downstairs. I'm gonna take you through each room by room. We've opted for uh, uh, two bedrooms. So instead of uh, an office or a kitchen lounge area in this one, and a bedroom in that one like we had in uh, Europe, this one is a two better. Now, starting things off here in the galley, as you can expect, microwaves and cookers and, and fridges within here, even a wine fridge for your champagne fridge. Um, and this lovely, lovely Alcantara, uh, which is pasted all over the walls, which is a running theme throughout the interior, which makes it uh, really dramatic and, and that gives that moody feel. Um, come on through into the first bedroom. And immediately you're met with a host of kind of Lamborghini details and features that you would find on the streetcar. For instance, the bedding is from the Ant Personum features that you might find on the uh, higher spec Lamborghinis that you can option. The TriStar uh, features throughout on the wall, even down to the speakers that come from the roof are the same that you'll find in a Lamborghini. Um, the stitching, like I said before, the stitching of the yellow throughout uh, matches the stripe on the roof. Now, TV screen here behind this Alcantara door. Moving into the bathroom, which has by far the coolest feature of any bathroom of any boat I've ever been on. And that is a carbon fiber basin and sink and a carbon fiber toilet, ladies and gentlemen. Now this side of the bathroom has a lovely detail to the wall, which flows through into the shower, some red neons throughout, and again, onto the door, which leads us to the master bedroom. Pretty spacious for the size of, uh, which is the size of the boat. The roof has a Lamborghini shaped uh, skylight, which is pretty cool. And again, that Lambo uh, features, Lambo uh, theme flows throughout with the headline, uh, the bedding, the walls, and again, the yellow touches everywhere. It's a pretty cool space to be. This Alcantara, I have to say, is magnificent. It really changes the game in terms of how tactile uh, the whole experience down here feels. A big enough television, which is pretty good, and you've got your closets through here. I do like the two-tone light gray and charcoal. It's a nice touch. So guys, this is where the real fun begins here. Obviously behind their helm, we're initially met by three lovely seats, which come straight from Huracan Evo. We've got an Aventador steering wheel. We've got a lot of switch gear and a lot of vents straight from the Lambo. It's number eight of 63, which is pretty cool. Lucky number and a lot of carbon. Beside me is Brendan. He is our captain of the Blue 63. And uh, I want to introduce you to him and get his thoughts about what it is to drive, how it is to drive, and what it feels like in terms of strength and how it compares to other boats. So Brendan, guys, guys, Brendan. Thanks, Josh. Uh, yeah, pretty much like with the Lambo, it's the finishing touches that I think made the big difference for this boat. Like the detail with the paint, detail with the trim, detail with the carbon fiber, the engine room. That's where I see the big difference. And handling wise, yeah, like at 60 knots, 63 knots, this boat handles like a dream. Smooth on the water, sharp on the turns. There's not many boats out there that can do 63 knots and a hard lock turn and still feel safe. Absolutely. Uh, it's... It's, yeah, the engineering, the final details that have gone into this vessel is, yeah, it's a credit to Lamborghini Technomar. 
It is, it is, it, it's a crazy boat, yeah. let's be honest. Um, speaking of engine rooms, would you be able to show us through the engine room? Yeah, definitely, sounds Fantastic. good. Let's head down. All right, guys, this is the engine room on blue. Uh, we've got two MAN V12s, 2,000 horsepower each, total of 4,000 horsepower, which propel this boat to 63 knots. Although it's a fast, fun toy, we've still got the creature comforts of generator on board for all the air conditioning, gyro stabiliser to keep the boat smooth at all times. Uh, and as you can see, the detail in this engine room is 10 out of 10. All right, guys, and obviously the best part of all videos is the sea test. Uh, let's go from cruise mode to Corsa mode, which is the high speed mode. Get the trim tabs down and see what this boat can do. So as we start getting up now, 12, 13 knots, trim tabs come down, turbos start kicking in, and uh, the fun starts. So it's a gentle build till we get on the plane. Comes up to about 15 knots at the moment. Slowly increasing the throttles. And then all of a sudden, it's party mode. Once you get to the 20 knot mark, just builds up to about 60 knots and that's where the real fun begins. 30 knots. Lucky to have such a clear day today, not many boats out. Pull throttles down, start bringing the trim tabs back up. And next thing you know, 38 knots. 40 knots. Now we straighten out, we just keep increasing the speed, 50 to 60 knots. And as you can see, the rooster tail is starting to build behind us. And what this vessel is known for, 60, 60 knots flat out. So there you have it guys, that is Lambo 63 Blue, uh, the one here in Perth. We have another one coming to Sydney very, very shortly. Um, we are going to now, well actually, tomorrow morning we're heading over to Sydney, we're hopping on the jet and flying over and we're gonna show you through Lance, our brand new San Lorenzo Tri-Decker yacht and uh, cannot wait to show you through there and show you through the comparisons. Welcome to Sydney guys. Standing tall beside me is the flagship of the Lance East Marine Fleet, the San Lorenzo SD-126 named Lance. It is available for charter, so I'm gonna show you through all through the yacht, show you exactly all its cool features, exterior, interior. It is a tri-deck, so a lot, of, a lot of walking, a lot of pacing to show you to get through. But uh, starting with the outside, it is a two-tone white and off-white, lovely teak decking throughout. So let's go take a look Kicking things off here with the rear deck, there's ample space here to entertain for friends, family, or even corporate events. Moving into the main salon and living area, glass of champagne upon entry, and you're met with this spacious open plan living in here. Great place to relax and unwind and dining for up to 12 people. Now we've got the kitchen over there to the side. You will meet Chef Andy. Chef Andy, I am yet to have a better meal at any restaurant anywhere in the world better than what Chef Andy can prepare. If you've charted yachts around the world before, you know a good chef makes all the difference to your yachting experience. Moving forward through to the master. Generously sized uh, for a 126 foot or 38 meter 
uh, size boat. It has a walkthrough ensuite on the back side there behind the television. Comfortably spaced and uh, some really, really nice textures and colors uh, that flow throughout the boat. So with the guest bedrooms downstairs, you have a combination of four bedrooms. They are twin beds, single, a double, and the queen inside here, which again is very generously spaced given the size of the yacht. Great textures and colors that flow throughout the boat and really, really nice place to lay your head. Moving ourselves upstairs to the second level, we have a bar, we have a kitchen, toilets, and a generously sized living through here, which takes us to the second outdoor deck. Moving outside, we have a bar here, and we have a living table, dining table, and enough space here, whether you want to, again, social event, all this can be cleared out for a uh, nice dance floor or any sort of entertaining setting that you would like to have. As we go up to the third and final level, my favorite level of the yacht, we are met with a generously sized jacuzzi, a bar for entertaining, and enough space at the front here whether you want to do some sun tanning or even Pilates early in the morning. So let's say you need a moment away from the party at the back, a moment to reflect and relax and unwind. You can bring yourself here to the front, to the bow, where it has a twin level lounge system here, nice and spacious, a good place to just have some peace and quiet away from the fun at the back there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna head into the wheelhouse, introduce you to our captain, Stuart, and he's gonna give you a bit more detailed uh, information about the San Lorenzo 126. So guys, having just done a very kind of basic walkthrough of the San Lorenzo, I wanna introduce you to Captain Stewart. Captain Stewart, everybody. Um, please tell us a little bit more, more in depth about Lance. Yeah, so my daughter Lance, so she's a 2023 San Lorenzo uh, 126. So she's just shy of 38 meters, 126 feet. Sleeps 10 guests very comfortably. Yep. Um, day charters we do in Sydney up to 80 plus guests and then you can do term charters as well, Sydney, pit water, and then we'll move up in the winter months to the Whit Sundays. She can cruise at about comfortably, normally around 13 knots, maximum speed of about 17, um, to big um, Caterpillar 1700, or, uh, 1700 horsepower each. Fantastic. And any potential guests that are about to come on board or anything like that, what do you think will be the, what do you think is gonna be their favorite features about the boat? Uh, look, she's got a lot of room, but being three levels exterior, jacuzzi upstairs, big bow area. So really there's a lot of room for the size of the boat. You look at some other boats around Sydney, around Australia, a lot of them at this size are two decks, having three decks, she's very beamy, but there's a lot of room. Yeah. Um, so adults can get away from their, from their kids. Yeah. <laughs> Loud music at the back, Perfect. nice and quiet at the front. Yeah, fantastic, cool. So there you have it guys, that is a more detailed outlook on what Lance is all about. If you would like to charter this in Sydney, make sure to visit Ocean Alliance. We're gonna put the link in the bio below. Thank you very much for watching as always. We'll see you in the next video.